How's it going? My name is Chase Amy. I'm a student at Appalachian State University, 20 years old, and I'm excited for this YouTube video. All right. When you think about your identity as a guy, what's something that you get excited about? Like, what's something that you love about being a guy? I'd say the leadership aspect gives me the opportunity to, uh, and the opportunity and the platform um, to, I guess, I guess, it's easier, it's easier for a male in society a lot of times to get the respect that he needs for people to listen. Mm -hmm. And so I guess I, I'm thankful that I have that platform and that ability to be that leader and uh, to kind of um, be someone who shows love and grace from that leadership role. What is something that you don't like being about, like you don't like? being a guy? I would say to, in today's society, it's a lot harder um, to be a male and take that male role because I believe society is, has begun to try and make men look weaker. And so in today's society, it can be difficult uh, to, to, to take that leadership sometimes because it's almost frowned upon because people want to be more focused on women taking over those leadership roles and getting into the workforce. And you know, in a lot of cases, that's not necessarily something wrong, um, but it's, it's more difficult for a male now hmm. than it used to be. All right, talk to me about something you're really confident in. I'd say I'm really confident in my, in my ability to play football. Um, I enjoy it a lot, I'm passionate about it, and I'm thankful that God has, has given me that passion. Um, I think as my faith has grown, um, I've kind of slowly gotten this better understanding that uh, God gives us these passions and these desires of our heart, not to mock us, um, but to kind of, you know, prepare us for if somebody tells us no. Uh, and so that when that no does come, that we would have that passion and that desire to keep on going. As I continue to mature, I understand that my identity is not only is not just in football, but my identity is in something greater. Uh, so even if I do fail at football, though I'm confident at it, uh, it's not the end of the world. I'm still all right, I'm still me. How about something that you're insecure about? Sometimes I can be insecure about my identity, and so I will try to go out and reach the acceptance and words of other people whose opinions don't really, shouldn't matter. It's almost like my identity would be embedded in what other people would say about me or what other people think about me. Like, you know, I might go, hey, what? how do you think I'm doing in comparison to so-and-so? Am I better than this person? Am I better than that person? It's something that I'm still working on to where, you know, I just need to, you know, not worry about the opinions of others um, and not let other opinion, other people's opinion, opinions affect uh, who I am and we'll, you know the kind of person that I am. Do you have any friends that have uh, subscribed to the dad bod and are succeeding romantically? If that makes sense. <laughs> um, I I know a couple guys who are just you know they're confident dudes. They're just they're awesome and. Um, they, I think they definitely rock the dad bod. They're confident in the person that they are. Um, the funny, good sense of humor, all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm personally not sure um, because uh, I don't know, I'm confident in the way I look uh, and I don't have a dad bod and I seem to be doing all right. But I think it can be more difficult. But if you have the confidence, um, then, you know, it's not that difficult. I used to have problems with weight. I used to have like some serious problems with it. I used to be like pretty chunky and I absolutely hated it. And just growing up, I would just, I remember like being in the mirror, just crying mm -hmm. and it just kind of compelled me. And I wanted to strive to reach that, you know, level of, um, I wouldn't say you could call it perfection, but the ideal male you know, visual aesthetics and all that kind of stuff. And so, you know, yes, I have achieved it. And maybe my some of my confidence has came from that, but I think more so my confidence has come in like me just growing up, being, you know, just being comfortable in my own skin, being surrounded by the right people, 
who give me confidence and support me in what I do and my be my beliefs, my goals. But you've had you had a time of being severely insecure about. Oh it. yeah, I was I was pretty big for a long time, and I like when I started. I'm a wide receiver right now. Uh, when I started football, I was an offensive guard. I was an offensive guard uh, in Pop Warner football, and I remember I have a couple memories of looking in my bathroom mirror and just crying because I would have the hardest time trying to lose weight and I just couldn't. And then um, as I continued to grow up and get older, all of a sudden I started like dropping this weight and I started stretching out. And um, in the past year, I've gotten to this level of health and you know visual uh, aesthetics, if you will, um, that I'm confident and proud of. Uh, it's a huge. It's 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 like been a goal of mine to reach this level of, um, I don't know, performance and um, looks. But I, still, it doesn't like necessarily define me. Do you have any male friends that you can call right now and just tell them anything in the world? Yeah, I have. I have about four guys um, that I can go to. I can go to any time and talk about my struggles, talk about what's going on in my mind. It's just a blessing to have those guys in my life. Uh, literally, I a couple days ago, I, I I pretty much talk to them every day. If I if I'm going through struggles, if I'm going through temptations, if if I'm going through heartache or heartbreak, I can go to those guys anytime, and it's just. It's, a, it's awesome. Um, I would be absolutely lost if I didn't have, um, you know, guys and, you know, brothers uh, like that. Do you guys tell each other that you love each other? How do you communicate that you care? Oh, yeah. Um, all the time. I think it's seen as something maybe weak mm -hmm. sometimes, but I tell my roommate, uh, Miller, I'm like, I love, I tell him I love him all the time. I'll, I'll send him texts sometimes, like how much I appreciate him. Um, and how thankful I am to just be in this house and to live with him. And I do the same thing with my other guys. Like I'll FaceTime them, text them, whatever, what ha whatever have you, and just be like, hey man, I love you. I'm just thankful for you. And uh, thankful for the, this brotherhood, this friendship. Uh, I couldn't do it without you kind of thing. So they'll be at my wedding for sure one day. Do you feel that they're equally as comfortable with being with us here, how they feel like towards you? Uh, some of them for sure. Some of them for sure. What do you think? You said you want to be married. Sounds yeah. like it. What do you think girls are most looking for in guys today? Ooh. That's interesting. I'm going to have to think about this one a second. I'd say the most important thing is probably confidence. Um, confidence and then also a man who knows what he wants. Um, I think too many, too many men are can be passive. They don't have this like desire to really go after what they want. And I think it shows a lot of strength to um, continue to fight for something you care about. I literally, I watched Pursuit of Happiness last night and um, to see this guy that, yeah, he was going through struggles. His wife had left him. And so he was, he was alone and homeless with his, with his kid and he just continued and continued and continued to strive for this goal to make ends meet. Long story short, he's a millionaire now, but yeah, someone who really knows what they want and is gonna go after and get it. I think another thing is humor is another one. Um, someone who's interesting. Nobody, nobody wants to, uh, you know, be around someone who's just like, I don't know, you know, let's do whatever. Uh, I think it's. It's fun when someone like initiates and has good, you know, has the idea like, hey, let's go do this, and like comes up with these creative ideas to to have fun instead of just sit around and I don't know binge watch on Netflix. Physically, I think it doesn't matter as much anymore. Like I said earlier, to an extent, I think a lot of girls do look for uh, someone who is healthy and that can really reflect the kind of person that they are. Have you ever wished? that you were a girl? Uh, no, I think it can, not really. <laughs> I enjoy being a guy. Uh, I'm trying to think why I wouldn't want to be a girl. I wouldn't say it's, it's not because I wouldn't want to be a girl. It's more so that 
I'm comfortable in the position that I am. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say there's anything in particular that's like, no, I wouldn't want, you know, I wouldn't want to be a girl because of this. I'm just, you know, there would be no reason for me to want to, want to be anything else. <laughs> I don't know. That's an interesting one. When I say male privilege, what do you think that that is? The first thing is definitely probably money. All the richest people in the world are, are men. And so I think people can get pretty upset that men make more money. As hard as it is to hear, I think it's easier to f follow a man than it is a female in a, in, in a lot of ways. Um, and I, I don't mean that in like a disrespectful way, but yeah, probably money is the big one that I think of. How about female privilege? Accusing, uh, accusing a guy of rape or something and you know that be the sole and the one and the only um evident proof of evidence i do think it's kind of crazy sometimes that uh you can so, you know you can com completely base uh, a, a man's life and a man's future and his um testimony off of what one girl says so the believability factor that it's kind of like yeah. Girls are going to believe no matter what, eat no matter, regardless of the consequences. Yeah. What is the last time you, like, felt like you were questioning your masculinity or questioning whether you had what it took, you know, to be a dude? Me personally, I've always been, I'd say I've always been pretty confident in my masculinity. Um, I'd say the only time it's sort of wavered is when my faith wavers and so I put my identity in my faith and so when my identity um, begins to go into something else like football and then I, I'm not doing good in football then I feel like I'm uh, I'm failing uh, which is completely false but it is true if my if I put my identity in something that is eventually going to fall apart but besides that, there's never been, I don't think there's never ever been like uh, a particular instance where I've felt um, lack of masculinity. If you had a piece of advice to give to like a boy growing up today, mm -hmm. like what, what do you think you, advice you would give to him in the realm of what we've been talking about with just manhood and masculinity? Well, one thing that my, ment my spiritual mentor um, and now friend really has told me that I've really, really tried to focus on um, this past year is not taking life so serious. Um, I made the mistake growing up where anything that I did, I would just take so serious and um, like these concerns of the world would just absolutely fill my mind and take over my thoughts and would good would it would give me anxiety and it would give me discomfort and all the, in in many all these different areas of life and so him just telling me like hey you know don't take it so seriously don't take life so seriously uh, just enjoy um, kind of what God's created has has really hit me um, the deepest this year and last year so my advice would be you know, just relax. Don't don't take it so don't take it so serious. Um, otherwise, it'll you know the world will tear tear you down.